chemicals have been released into the atmosphere from a flood-damaged plant near the storm-hit U.S. city of Houston, local officials say. Earlier, black smoke was seen issuing from the Arkema chemical plant at Crosby. A police officer who was helping secure the site was taken to hospital after inhaling fumes, while nine others admitted themselves as a precaution. Arkema said this was believed to have been caused by a non-toxic irritant. Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said the release was not believed to have been a result of an explosion, despite earlier reports of blasts. Residents living within a 1.5-mile radius of the plant were evacuated after the company warned there was a risk of explosions and fire. During heavy rainfall from Hurricane Harvey, the complex lost the ability to refrigerate chemical compounds that need to be kept cool. In an early statement, Arkema said, at approximately 2 a.m. CDT, 7 o'clock GMT, we were notified by the Harris County Emergency Operations Center of two explosions and black smoke coming from the Arkema Incorporated plant in Crosby, Texas. We want local residents to be aware that product is stored in multiple locations on the site, and a threat of additional explosion remains. Please do not return to the area within the evacuation zone until local emergency response authorities announce it is safe to do so. At least 33 people have been killed in eastern Texas in the aftermath of the storm, which the U.S. National Weather Service has now downgraded to a tropical depression. Heavy rainfall is expected from Louisiana to Kentucky over the next three days, and flood warnings remain in effect for southeast Texas and parts of southwest Louisiana. U.S. energy supplies have been hit, as oil companies shut down refineries and a major pipeline in the Houston area. Firefighters are due to begin a door-to-door -door search of badly flooded areas of Houston on Thursday, to rescue survivors who are still stranded and recover the bodies of those who have died. We'll be doing block-by-block, door-by-door search of streets, to make sure there are no people we've left behind, Richard Mann, the city's assistant fire chief, was quoted as saying by the Houston Chronicle newspaper this will be a one to two week long process to make sure we address all those areas that have been most impacted. The Arkema chemical plant, 21 miles from Houston, shut down production on Friday before the storm made landfall. But 40 in, 102 centimeters, of rainfall in the area had flooded the site and cut off its power, the company said. Backup generators were also flooded. The facility manufactures organic peroxides, compounds used in everything from making pharmaceuticals to construction materials, which can become dangerous at higher temperatures. Any fire will probably resemble a large gasoline fire, CEO Richard Rowe told Reuters news agency before the reports of the leak emerged. The fire will be explosive and intense. He said the black smoke produced would irritate the skin, eyes and lungs. The high water that exists on site, and the lack of power, leave us with no way to prevent it. The last remaining workers at the site were evacuated on Tuesday. The Federal Aviation Administration has issued a temporary ban on flights near the plant. Parts of Texas have been hit by more than 50 in of rainfall since Hurricane Harvey landed on 25 August, setting new records before it was downgraded to a tropical storm and, late on Wednesday, to a tropical depression. Rescue efforts continued overnight. Thousands of people have been rescued from the floodwaters, and more than 32,000 people are being housed in emergency shelters. Large parts of Houston the fourth most populous city in the U.S., remain underwater. The city is also a key energy hub. The storm and its subsequent flooding has knocked out about a quarter of the country's refining capacity, sending petrol prices to a two-year high. The Colonial Pipeline, which carries more than 100 million gallons of petrol, heating oil and aviation fuel between Houston and the East Coast each day, has been shut. Port Arthur, about 80 miles east of Houston, was also severely flooded. Mayor Derek Freeman, posting on Facebook, 
said the entire city was underwater, and appealed for anyone who owned a boat to help. Details of some of those who died in Texas have emerged, to those Americans who have lost loved ones, all of America is grieving with you, and our hearts are joined with yours forever, President Donald Trump said in a speech on Wednesday, a day after visiting Texas. On Tuesday, Houston implemented a curfew to prevent looting of abandoned homes. Port Arthur followed a suit on Wednesday. An additional 10,000 members of the National Guard are on their way to Texas to join the rescue efforts, adding to the 14,000 troops already deployed. Harvey was the most powerful hurricane to hit Texas in more than 50 years when it first made landfall at Corpus Christi, 220 miles southwest of Houston last week. At a news conference on Wednesday Texas Governor Greg Abbott said the state could need more than $125 billion, 97 billion pounds, from the federal government to help it recover. Mr Abbott has accepted an offer of aid from the Mexican government, which has suggested it is willing to dispatch troops with food, water and medicine, as it did in 2005 when New Orleans was devastated by Hurricane Katrina. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said it was very generous of Mexico to offer their help at this very, very challenging time for our citizens down in Texas. The move comes amid tension between the two countries over President Donald Trump's repeated promises to build a vast border wall on the southern U.S. border to keep out illegal immigrants and criminals, and to make Mexico pay for it. Are you affected by Tropical Storm Harvey? Let us know about your experiences. Email haveyoursay at bbc.co.uk with your stories. Please include a contact number if you are willing to speak to a BBC journalist. You can also contact us in the following ways.